What is a flame? A flame is small and hot. No, some flames are big. Flames are bright. No, some are invisible. Flames can take many sizes and shapes and colors. So, so what, what is, is a flame? A flame is a fast chemical reaction between a fuel and an oxidizer like air that releases energy. To produce a flame, you need a fuel like wood or gasoline and an oxidizer such as air or oxygen. If they mix in just the right way and it is hot enough, you get a flame. When there is enough fuel and air, the flame continues burning like in this candle flame. Here, the fuel is the candle wax. The heat from the flame melts the candle wax and the wick absorbs it. Then the wax on the wick evaporates and goes into the flame and it reacts with the air producing a flame. This flame is small because the wick is small and it limits the fuel that evaporates to the flame. When you are near a campfire, you can see the light and feel the heat. Every place that you see a flame, there is a very fast chemical reaction happening between the wood and the air. This reaction releases energy, which we see and feel in the form of light and heat. A forest fire is very similar but can take on a different shape, like this fire tornado. Here the fuel and the air mix, just like the campfire, but because the air is spinning, the flame has a different shape. Some flames can be hard to see, like this one. Here we have a special fuel that is burning. It is called hydrogen. This flame is burning with air. It is invisible but clearly it is still burning. In a controlled environment, flames are very useful. They are what make a car move, planes cross the sky, and produce energy in most power plants. But when they are unleashed, flames can be very dangerous and destructive. Now we know that even though flames can look very different, they all result from the same kind of fast chemical reaction between fuel and air, and they release energy in the form of heat and sometimes light. What changes in different flames is the fuel and oxidizer, how they come together, and how this reaction releases energy.